Greetings. This Sunday is Palm Sunday when we uh, hear about Jesus entering into Jerusalem uh, victoriously, riding on a donkey. Uh, this is a very provocative act on the part of Jesus. He is deliberately stirring people up because he's, he's m deliberately mimicking uh, one of the messianic prophecies from Zechariah when it, it imagines the king returning from victory, riding on a donkey and returning to Jerusalem victorious over the battle that had been fought. Uh, Marcus Borg and Dominic Crossan, two popular scholars in a book a few years ago, imagined at the same time as Jesus is coming into Jerusalem to shouts of Hosanna and waving palm branches and cloaks being thrown to the floor, that on the other side of town is a different parade, Pontius Pilate coming to town, followed by a legion of uh, military, a legion of Roman soldiers. And instead of shouts of Hosanna and waving palm branches, it is the crowds trembling in fear, knowing that uh, any moment these soldiers could could bring about violence in order to keep the peace. But Jesus has a different kind of peace in mind, peace through justice, peace that is found in embracing the kingdom of God. And by riding in on a donkey, Jesus has basically said, the war is over and we've already won. The kingdom of God has won and is at hand now. God is at work and um, now is a time of peace now is a time of justice. Uh, this, of course, stirs up the community, which catches the eye of the religious officials and the Roman uh, governor himself. And eventually, this kind of behavior gets Jesus killed. Come and join us on Sunday as we explore Palm Sunday a little more, uh, as we enjoy waving our own palm branches and shouting Hosanna, and blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Our service is at 11 a.m. Uh, if you can join us in person, that'd be great. If not, then uh, the uh, service is being live cast at 11 a.m. on YouTube as well. Thank you, and God bless.